In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use virtual desks on a Chromebook. Virtual desks is a feature that allows you to have multiple different apps and windows showing on separate virtual desks that you can then easily switch between. If you've ever used a computer with multiple monitors connected, it's kind of like that, but you only have one physical screen and you switch between all the different desks on that one screen. To get started using virtual desks, there are a few ways you can go about it. Timmy finds the easiest way to create and use virtual desks is by pressing the overview key on your keyboard here. So it's this one with a rectangle and two lines next to it up the top. So when you press that key, it will pull up an overview of all the apps and windows that you currently have open. And up the top here, you'll see virtual desks. So this is where you can start to create and manage your virtual desks. So by default, everything you have open is just already in desk one. But if you want to create another desk, you can just click the plus button next to desk one, and it'll create another desk. So it'll ask you to give it a name. You can name it anything you like. So if there's a specific thing you're going to be doing with this desk, you might name it something like that. But to me, it's just going to name it desk two to keep things really simple. So we'll call it desk two and press enter to save it. And now if we click on this new desk, it will take us to this desk here where there are currently no apps open. So if we press that key again to go back to the overview, we can see we have nothing here in desk two. But if we click back to desk one here, we will go back to where we had all the apps. So that's how you can create another virtual desk. But now that you've done that, you'll probably want to open some apps on the virtual desk. And there are actually two different ways you can do that. You can open apps directly in the virtual desk and to me, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But another option is to drag apps across from your current desk. So if we press this overview key again to go back to the overview, these are all the apps that are open in desk one. But maybe we want the calculator to go in desk two and maybe the calendar as well. So we can just click and drag any app we want from here and drop it into any desk we want to move it to. And now if we click on desk two, we'll see we have the calculator and the calendar app in desk two. And if we switch back to desk one, we have the other three apps that are still in desk one. So that's how you can move existing apps across into a new desk. But as Timmy mentioned before, the other option is to just create open new apps directly inside the new desk. So to do that, if we go back to the overview and switch back to desk two again, you can just click on any app in here that you want to open. So maybe we'll open Google Photos and maybe Gmail as well. So you can just click on our apps down the bottom here, or you can come across to the app launcher here and click on that and scroll through here and open any app you like out of the app launcher there. But you just click on an app you want to open in this desk and it will open up. But there is one thing you have to keep in mind here. And that's that you often can't open the same app in two different desks. So as you saw before, the settings app is currently open in desk one. And we are now in desk two. But if we try to click on the settings app to open up the settings app in desk two, it will actually just jump us back to desk one, where we can then use the settings app in desk one. So if you already have the app open in a desk, you can't go and open it at another desk most of the time. But if you're using an app that allows you to have multiple different windows, like Google Chrome or the Files app 
or the calculator or something like that, you can actually have separate windows open in separate desks. So if we get these two apps out of the way to make things neater, if we take the files app, for example, we currently have one window open here. But if we right click or two finger click on the icon down here, we can click new window in this menu that appears. And now there's two of the files app. So maybe you could be in one folder in one of the windows and in a different folder in the other one. So now there's two windows of the files app and you can actually do it again if you want. You could right click on the files app again and click new. And now there's three files app windows and maybe you'd go into a different folder again here. So just like that, we can have multiple windows of quite a few apps in one desk. And if you wanna do it across multiple desks, it's basically the same thing. So we have this files app window here on desk one. And if we move across to desk two, we can right click on the files app in here and click new window. And now we have a files app window in desk two. So this can be really great if you wanna have different Chrome windows with different things in them in different desks or different files app windows showing different folders and things like that. So sometimes if the app allows two windows, you can have a different window of the app in each desk. But if it's an app like settings or a lot of apps from the Google Play Store, you can only have the app open once in one desk. So you'll have to choose where you want it to be. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get started. If you wanna open more apps or windows in either of these desks, you can go ahead and do that now. Or if you wanna create a third desk, you can simply do the same thing. You would press the overview key and click the plus again. And to me, it's going to be boring and call this desk three, but you could call it whatever you want. And maybe we'll actually move Gmail into desk three. So now, we have Gmail in desk three here. So we now have three desks with different apps in each of them. But now, once you've created all the desks you want and got it all set up the way you want it with all the apps and windows open the way you like, there are a few extra tips that can make using virtual desks easier. If you look down at the bottom bar on the bottom of the screen here, you'll see it says desk one or maybe desk two or whatever the name is of the desk that you're on. And next to it will be arrows. So if you click this arrow, the arrow to the right, it will move to the right and jump you into desk two. So rather than having to press the option key and click across, you can just click the arrow and you'll swipe across. And if we click this arrow again, we'll move across to desk three. So it's gone through them in order like that. It doesn't matter what their name is. It'll just do it in the order you created them. Or if we click the arrow that goes the other direction, we'll move back to desk one like that. So that's really handy to quickly jump between desks. And you can also click on the name of the desk. So if we click on desk one here, it will actually bring up this little window here where you can see all of your desks and click on them here. So rather than pressing the overview key to see this up the top, you could just click desk one or whatever name your desk is, and then maybe click on desk three and you'll jump to desk three, just like that. Or if you prefer, you can use keyboard shortcuts to switch between desks. If you hold down the search key on your keyboard or possibly the assistant key on some Chromebooks, you can then press either the left or right square bracket key, should be somewhere over here. And it has two brackets on it, but that's okay. It's just this key or that key. You can jump to the left or right desk 
by using these keys. So if we hold that and press that one, it will take us to desk two and press it again, we'll go back to desk one, or we can press here and go desk two, desk three, back to desk two, back to desk three. So you can jump between them like that if you want to, or if it's easier, you can use the number keys up the top to do a similar thing. So this might be helpful if you had five or six desks and you wanted to go from desk one to desk five, but you didn't want to have to cycle through them all. You can hold down search and shift and then press the number of the desk you want to go to. So if we hold these two keys down and press one, it'll take us to desk one or we can jump to desk three or desk two or if we had a desk five or something, we could jump to that by pressing number five. And it allows you to jump between the desks just a bit quicker. Or moving on from keyboard shortcuts, another way you can switch between desks is by using a four fingered swipe on your trackpad. So you get four fingers, so you probably just leave your thumb out of it and use all four of the normal fingers from one hand and then you swipe them all across the trackpad to the left and right to swipe between the desks. So if we do that, we'll go from desk one to desk two and we can do it again and we'll get to desk three or we can go back the other direction and go to desk two and then back to desk one. So that's all there is to switching between desks, but there are a still a few other virtual desk related features you might want to look at. If you click on the desk down here to bring up all three of these desks, or if you press on the overview key to see them all up here, you can rearrange or rename this, these desks as much as you want. So if we wanted desk three to be the first desk, you probably wouldn't, that would be a bit weird. But let's say you named them something else without numbers and you wanted this desk to be over here. All you need to do is click and drag it and drop it where you want it. So put desk three here and maybe we'll put desk two in here. So you can rearrange them as much as you want and shuffle them all around like that. Or if you want to rename them, all you need to do is click on the name and delete what's there and type something else and then press enter to save it. So now it has a different name, so it doesn't really matter what order you put it in because it has no number. So if you find you have two desks that you switch between all the time, maybe you wanna arrange those two next to each other. Or if you change the purpose for a desk, maybe you want to rename it or something like that. And if you ever want to close a desk, to get rid of it completely. All you need to do is be looking at your desks up here in the overview, or you can click on the name of the desk and pull up all your desks down here. And then if you hover over the desk you want to close, there'll be a cross in the top right hand corner of it here. So you can click that and it will close the desk and get rid of the desk and it will close any apps or windows that you had in the desk. Another thing you can do is you can actually merge two desks together. So if we pull up the overview again, let's say you wanted to close desk two here, but you didn't want to close any of these apps. You want all of these apps to be in Timmy's desk here. You could manually close, drag all the apps into Timmy's desk one by one, and then close the desk just like Timmy showed you. Or another option, which would be easier, is to go onto the desk that you want to merge the apps into. So we want these apps to move into Timmy's desk. So we'll click on Timmy's desk here to open it and then bring up the overview window again. And now if we hover over desk two, which is the one we want to close, there'll be this icon next to the cross button that says combine with Timmy's desk. And if you click this button, it will close desk two 
and put all of the apps inside it into Timmy's desk. So, because there's only two desks here, obviously when we click this button, it's gonna put the apps into Timmy's desk. But if we had three or four windows open, it will merge the apps into the desk you're currently on. So that's why you want to be on Timmy's desk first before you click the merge button on the desk you want to close. But we've done that here and it says combine with Timmy's desk. So we know they're gonna go into the correct desk. So we can just click this button here and now that desk will be closed and all the apps will be combined into Timmy's desk. And now the final thing Timmy's gonna show you how to do is how you can save a desk for later. This feature can be really handy if you're working on something with a lot of different windows open, but you want to close it all now and come back to it later. When you press the overview key here to see all the apps that you currently have open, there'll be this save desk for later button here. So we're in Timmy's desk at the moment. So if we click this button, it will save Timmy's desk for later and all the apps and windows currently in this desk will be closed. So they won't use any of your Chromebooks, RAM or CPU resources and they won't be in the way at all. They'll all be completely closed as if you've closed them, but they'll all be saved as a saved desk. So when you want to open it back up again, you can just click on that saved desk and it will all reappear. So if we go ahead and click save desk for later here, it's now named it what the desk was named and saved it into this saved for later section. So we can go back to any other desk and just keep using the Chromebook as normal with all of that stuff closed. But now whenever you want to come back and reopen your saved desk, you'll press the overview key again and click on this little puzzly looking icon over here because that is the saved for later section. So if you had saved multiple desks, you'd now see a whole lot of desks in here, but we've only saved one. So we just see this one. And if you decided you don't want it anymore, you could just click the trash can icon there. But when you want to open it, you can click open desk here and now it will reopen this desk. So we're still in save desks over here and there's no save desks anymore, but we can now switch across to Timmy's desk, which we've just reopened and all the apps are back opened up in here, just like you had it before you saved the desk. It might not be exactly the same. If you left something unsaved, it might not be there when you reopen it, because everything will have to reload. And in some apps, it will just take you back to the home page of that app. So it might not be the exact screen you're in, but it can be a very easy way to quickly reopen all the same windows you had. If we press on the overview key again, we can see we have all of these windows in the desk reopened like this. And even if you turn the Chromebook off, when you turn it back on again, the saved desk will still be there. So even if you want to keep the saved desk for a few weeks or something and come back to it quite a bit later, it will still be there. And that brings to me to one final question you might have, which is what happens to your virtual desks when you restart your Chromebook? And the answer is basically nothing. If you restart your Chromebook or turn it off and then come back later and turn it on again, after you sign back in, all the virtual desks from last time will still be there. So perhaps we'll give it a try. We have the Chromebook here and we will come down here and click restart. You could also click shut down and then turn it back on again. And now we'll just wait for the Chromebook to restart and come back on with the login screen. And then you'll just sign back into it and you'll be back into it. And now 
if you press the overview key, all the same desks that you used to have are still there. And of course, none of your apps or windows are open, but you can actually click on the notification here that offers to restore all of your apps. So we'll click the restore button here. And now it will pull up all the apps and they will all go back into the correct desks, just like it was before you restarted the Chromebook. And that's all there is to using virtual desks on a Chromebook. It might not be for everyone, but if you often use a lot of windows and have lots of different things going on on your Chromebook, you might find it to be quite helpful. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.